Hi everyone, I'm Sharon and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will be creating a slimline card featuring a happy bunch of friendly farm friends who are gathered in front of their favorite red barn to say happy birthday to Moo. Let's begin with a quick overview of the Lawn Fawn products that I will be using to create this card. A full list of supplies can be found in the description box below. The sentiment and main images for this card come from the Hey There stamp set, which has all of the necessary images to create the perfect farm scene. I use the doors and window from the Scallop Treat Box Beach House add-on to make my big red barn. The large and small trees come from a Happy Village stamp set, the baby chick in an eggshell from the Say What Spring Critter stamp set, and the tufts of grass from the Butterfly Kisses stamp set. The wagon and rake are from the Let's Go Nuts stamp set. I use the hillside borders and the grassy hillside border die sets, the sunburst backdrop in landscape style, and finally the Everyday Sentiment Banners die set. I load all of my images into my Misty stamping tool, ink them up using some Lawn Fawn Jet Black Premium Ink, which is alcohol marker friendly, and stamp them onto a piece of Strathmore Bristol Smooth Heavyweight cardstock. Off screen, I color my images with my Ohuhu alcohol brush markers. I stamped and colored more images than I needed so I don't end up using all of these farm animals. Now I use some washi tape to position the dies over the images and run everything through my die cutting machine. And here are all of my die cuts. I just love these super cute and colorful collection of farm animals. I use the largest of the Heffy Doodle Stitch Slimline Trio dies to create a three and a quarter by three and a half inch stitched rectangle for my barn. To create the illusion of a wooden barn, I use a wood grain embossing folder by Momenta. In experimenting with my Sizzix machine, I find that I need to place my cardstock between two pieces of acetate inside of the embossing folder to prevent my cardstock from tearing or cracking. I ink blend some candied apple distress oxide onto the embossed cardstock and then use some Vintage Photo Distress Oxide to darken the edges. This gives the barn a more weathered appearance rather than looking newly painted. I die cut three stitch strips using one of the rectangles from the small stitch rectangle stackables, trim them down with an X-Acto knife on a self-healing mat to make sure the strips are all the same width. Here are the measurements of where to glue down the white strips for those of you who may wish to recreate this barn. You may want to pause here to take a screenshot of these measurements. I adhere the white strips to the barn according to my pencil marked measurements. Then I take my scissors and cut off the excess cardstock. I don't own the slimline stitched hillside borders, so to create my dirt ground, I have to be resourceful play around a little bit to butt up two of the six inch stitched hillside borders together to die cut a seamless eight and a half inch border. Here are the two hillside borders and one grassy hillside border I die cut for my seam. I ink blend the taller hillside that will be farthest back in the distance using some twisted citron distress oxide. I don't ink blend all the way down to the bottom of the hillside because this section will be covered up. Then I ink blend some mowed lawn distress oxide to the stitched edge of the hillside to create some contrast. I do the same for the grassy hillside piece, except I use mow lawn first and then lucky clover for the tip blades of the grass. Next, I smush some Rustic Wilderness Distress Oxide onto my work surface, spray on some water, and use a paintbrush to splatter some ink on for added interest and color contrast. I do the same process with the dirt ground 
hillside border. Next, I have a three and a half by eight and a half inch slimline card front panel that I am ink blending with some tumbled glass distress oxide just in the top left hand corner of the panel because that is all that is going to show. I hold my sunburst backdrop panel in place with my Wendy Vecchi Make Art Station so that the panel doesn't shift around when I ink blend the smiced marmalade distress oxide. Then to create some contrast, I use squeezed lemonade to blend out the sun's rays. Finally, I ink blend some tumbled glass just around the squeezed lemonade. I'm careful not to mix the two colors because that would create a green ring around my orange and yellow sun. Here are all of the die cut pieces I need to create my barn. Using my steel ruler and an X-Acto knife on my self-healing cutting mat, I separate the door from the frame on the yellow doors. Then I use my Lawn Fawn glue tube to adhere the yellow frames and the knobs to the white doors. The yellow frame will make the door stand out against the red barn. I also glue the window and shutters together. Now I'm ready to assemble the barn. I use the magnetic centering ruler on my make art station to ensure that I adhere everything down in an even and centered manner. The excess yellow centerpiece of the door looks like a bale of hay to me, so I distress one of them with some vintage photo distress oxide. I am going to stamp and heat emboss my sentiment. Happy birthday to Moo! onto some black licorice cardstock using Versamark watermark ink. Then I will sprinkle on some Ranger super fine white embossing powder onto the sentiment strip, shake off and pour the excess powder back into the jar. Melt the powder with my heat tool to reveal a bright white sentiment. And then I will run the sentiment strip through my die cutting machine using the banner die. Now for the fun of assembling the card. After first laying out all of my images to figure out the perfect positioning for my card design, the first thing I adhere is the sunburst backdrop panel that is now cut down to three and a half by five and a half inches. Next, I glue the taller of the two hillside borders I created. I glue the dirt ground, which I will have the family farm animals standing on, in front of the grassy hillside, and then I hear them both onto the panel. I very strategically glue the big barn so that it covers up the edge of the sunburst backdrop panel and no one will be the wiser that the sunburst panel is not cut from a slim line die. On the right I place the small stamped barn on the hillside to create the perception that it is far back in the distance. I place the fence and trees on the hill to draw the eye to the horizon line. The images closest to the foreground are popped up with foam tape. I begin with the gentle gray horse, and then I move on to the cute cow. I have the piglet sitting atop the bale of hay, and then on the right, I have a red dragon that carries a hatching chick, a baby chick, and an egg, and I'm going to have the mother hen pulling her wagon of chicks along. This is super darling cute. I pop the sentiment banner on with some tape and then to create the card base for my slimline card panel, I have a seven by eight and a half inch piece of accent opaque 120 pound cardstock that I score at the midway three and a half mark on the seven inch side. I use some liquid glue to adhere the card front to the card base. And here we have it, my finished card. I have a happy bunch of friendly farm friends 
who are gathered in front of their favorite red barn to say, Happy birthday to Moo! This is such a colorful, fun, and crittered filled scene. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I hope that you will join me again next time. Have a great day, everyone. Bye bye.